Welcome back to the Score Sunday. We are catching up with Orion Product and Iowa Hawkeye defensive tackle Logan Lee. We talked a lot of football in the first segment. I want to talk about some stuff off the field as well. And we're going to start with, and I don't know what it is with Quan City Hawkeyes, but I don't know if you know this, but Pat Anger proposed to his now wife right after the Orange Bowl. I think it was okay. 2009. You, you didn't do it after the game. Yep. Take me through your proposal and all that kind of stuff. And, and first off, congratulations, but take me through the, the love side of Logan Lee. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, so Tori and I had been dating for over five and a half years yeah. at, uh, in January. Geneseo product, better athlete than he is. Much but I'll, better. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Much better. I just wanted to jump in and make oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. Get you, you. Don't get you in you. trouble. But yeah, you guys have been dating for a while. Yeah, so we've been dating for five and a half years. Um, we knew we wanted to get married and stuff, so um, it was just planning was tough. Um, and I was planning on it like February-ish just because I thought that was the time frame I'd be able to get the ring in, mm -hmm. right? And I wasn't able to do that because um, her parents and my parents weren't going to be in the same area at all because she was in Wisconsin, I'd yeah. be in Iowa City. So I'm like, all right, got the ring right before we left. I'm like, we're going to make it work. And, uh, talked to her father, her brother, and then uh, talked to a couple coaches just to make sure it was okay. And, um, they all gave the blessing, so it was pretty, pretty so, neat. So when did you do it? How did you do it? I know, we, we, I know Corey, and I remember it when it happened, but tell people when you popped the question and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we actually had a team day at Universal Studios, and um, one of our trainers, uh, Sarah, ended up saying, hey, this would be a great spot, because I, I had told most of our yeah. my team because um, I had their ring with me. So. Did you think about, like, at the game or after the game? Did um, that ever I thought about that, um, but... But I would never have done that after a loss. That's the problem. That's yeah. what I was going to say. That's so, the problem. See, um, anger won, so they were all happy exactly, and it all worked exactly. out. But yeah, I would have had to hold on to it if um, the that same That makes sense. So on. let's go with plan, plan A, the, yeah. the red Yep. Red so uh, Sarah was like, hey, there's a cool auditorium type thing outside, and I think this would be a cool spot because it's over water and stuff. I'm like, all right, uh, we'll make that work. So um, Tori's family was there uh, a Perfect. couple hours before, so I had them meet at that spot. It was pretty cool because there was like a little patio up top and all my, I had 30 teammates lying say. in the patio and um, I was. And Did they behave had, themselves? Of course. Okay. Of course. They were keeping quiet. They they're didn't football wanna, players yeah. though. I just, you never know if they're going to be, <laughs> that's good. That's yeah. Good. So they were keeping quiet. Uh, I told, I asked some of the photographers on the, um, in the football facility and the videographers, I'm like, hey, uh, I might propose, would you ever consider taking some pictures for me? And yeah. Like, of course. That's awesome. Yeah. So we just nonchalantly walked past them and I'm like, hey, Tori, you want to get a picture? She's like, no. I'm like, don't say it like that. She didn't say, she, she said it like that. Okay, okay. And I'm like, <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. She's like, no, they're not here for me. They're here for you guys. I'm like, let's get a picture. <laughs> so they start recording, they start taking pictures. I get the ring out of my bag and propose. And she, she said yes. She thankfully said yes. says yes. Okay, there you go. Um, then everybody on the balcony started cheering. It was pretty cool. Uh, That's awesome. Great opportunity because um, both of our families were there. So yeah. um, really cool opportunity to be able to celebrate that together. Perfect. And they're going to do a little wedding this summer. Yep. And then get married and have a big, big uh, destination. That's right. That's later right. On. So awesome. Congratulations. Got to cover both kids, both athletes. They're not kids anymore. I feel old. But really two great, super happy for you guys and what's ahead. Um, you did some mission work this off season. Yeah, a trip to and I'm gonna mess it up. Ecuador. Ecuador. Okay, right. tell me through. Take me through why and and, and not why, but what what you guys did and all that. Obviously, you, why was for very good reason. But take yeah. me through the whole process. Yeah. So um, I'm actually a leader with Athletes in Action on campus, and that's a faith based ministry whose goal is to help athletes apply faith to their sport. And um, as a group, we ended up talking about um, wanting to do a mission trip. And once we found out it was in Ecuador, um, we started advertising for that, trying to get people to go. Uh, we ended up getting 15 or 16 student athletes from Iowa, and then we had uh, a gentleman from Marquette, uh, his name is Amon. Uh, he was one of the other guys. He just kind of met up with our group. Sure. And we all did that together. But yeah, so um, through Athletes in Action, we partners with far partners, we became partners with Filters of Hope, okay. who is a faith-based organization that helps supply uh, water filters to um, like communities in need. And uh, they kind of use the filter as a representation for, um, to share the gospel because uh, we show the impurity we have before crisis in our lives uh, with the dirty water, then we filter it and the filter is representing Christ. And then it is pure water, clean water. 
and it just there to represent the um, the power that Jesus Christ has in our lives. How big of a impact was that trip on you? Uh, it was truly amazing. Just being able to grow in community with um, my the athletes at Iowa, along with um, the people of Ecuador. So. We landed in um, Quito, Ecuador, drove two hours to Otavala, which is another pretty big city. And then after that, we would bus each day. We stayed in Otavala, and then we'd bus to Asama. And Asama is like a smaller village. And okay. um, they had running water, but it was mud. And oh. it, was, it was tough because like, people would talk about how um, some people would some people would boil it, some people would bleach it, um, some people would put like a sock over the spigot. But most people would just let the water sit for a day or two to let all the sediment fall yeah. and then scoop the top water out and just drink it without treating it at all. Wow. And a lot of them were getting sick from that. So Eye-opening experience for sure. Absolutely. Well, well done. Well done. We're proud of you. Um, being in the off-season, we'll have a little fun here. Um, what are you doing in the off-season? I know obviously you're working and, and lifting all that kind of stuff, but you said you had two weeks at home. Yeah. What, what are you doing? Like, are you, are you, what are you doing planned. to do fun? I, like, are you, is that fun, just chilling? Uh, I'd, I'm too busy. Uh, I don't. I like being busy. I don't really yeah, like sitting tell. around. Um, so I'm just going to be working out at the high school and then um, trying, to, trying to get some work in and then hanging out with family and friends because it's been a minute since I've been able to see everybody. You mentioned high school. Now that you're at the University of Iowa and you're, you're with the best coaches in college football, yep. you kind of find out how bad of a coach Chip Filler really was, of didn't course. you? Absolutely. Like, do, you, do you look back <laughs> and be like, man, I could have done so much better in high school? No, absolutely <laughs> I'm not. I'm kidding. I love I Chip, Chip and all that kind of stuff. But obviously still close with Chip and, yep. and, and Orion. That's the cool thing is do you remember where you came from, not just the Quad Cities, but Orion, Orion High School is pretty special. Isn't it? Absolutely. Um, it, it really gave me an opportunity to be able to uh, be seen and um, be proficient in the sports I participate in. So I think it's kind of my duty to um, help out around there, help like um, lifting's going on right now for yeah. high schoolers. So I'm lifting with a bunch of high school Football players, That's so. probably going to motivate some high school. Yeah, you and come in there is yeah. probably pretty, pretty motivating. And Coach uh, Coach Filler is pretty cool yeah, about so letting me help out and now. help critique. Letting you help out, <laughs> Coach Filler. You can do what you want when you want. I'm sure. Very I know nice Chip. He's extremely yeah, proud of that's you. Right. We're all extremely proud of you. Keep working. Best of luck this next season. Do great things at the University of Iowa, and then beyond that, we'll do even bigger things Absolutely. as well. He's Logan Lee. Always appreciate you. Thank we you. have much more. Logan was part of FCA yep, when right. he was in high school. We have Dan Pearson and your FCA Story of the Week and much more straight ahead right here on The Score Sunday.